I got the Patriots last again. I know they got Bill O'Brien to help out that offense a little more, but Juju Smith-Schuster, nothing you could trust with that knee. And Kendrick Bourne's the only other receiver I trust on that too. Their offensive line's better. Their defense is good. I think Bill Belichick will coach them to like 8-9 and nine for the Patriots. Third place, I got the Miami Dolphins. I was higher on them during the offseason process, but their injuries are concerning. No Jalen Ramsey for probably six games or so. I think that's going to hurt their secondary. Fangio will help it a little bit, but I do think it's going to hurt them against the rest of the teams in this division. Offensive line, no Teron Armstead for a while too. That could hurt them. And their running game, are they going to emerge? So I got the Dolphins third. Give me the Jets second, 11 and 6. Definitely some offensive line concerns with them. Where's that second receiver going to emerge? I think it'll be Alan Lazard, but I think the rest of the team is really set beyond that. They got a good running game. They got a great defense, tons of pass rush depth. If they stay healthy, it's tough to go wrong with the Jets. The only thing concerning is the offensive line. So give me the Jets 11 and 6, Buffalo 12 and 5, winning the division. I'm actually less worried about them losing Leslie Frazier as you are. I think Sean McDermott's scheme is very Von similar. Miller might be off. Their young players will get a bigger role in their defense too. I think they losing Tremaine Edmonds will hurt, but I think they drafted a, a couple good linebackers the last two years. It'll help to get them combined value. And I do think those young DBs will emerge a little better. And offensively, I think James Cook does take a big step this year. Kincaid is another good weapon for them. I think he's kind of like what the Giants will do with Darren Waller, that big bodied weapon. I think their offensive line got better too. So give me Buffalo 12 and 5. And they're flying under the radar this year, which I actually think helps them because they were too hyped last year. I got New England as my worst team. I think New England's going to win eight or nine games this year. I think they're going to still be a good team. They're good defensively. They have weapons. I still think they have a good running game. They'll be one of the better running teams in the NFL. And and they can get at the quarterback. They can get him on both sides of the ball. So I think it's going to help Mac Jones that O'Brien is there. So I think he'll have a better season than he did last year. I think New England will be looking for a quarterback at the end of the season. But I believe Mac Jones will put up better numbers. And I think he'll keep his team in the game because of the defense. And I think they'll be able to run the ball. So I have the Patriots winning about eight games this year. They'll be the last team right now in the AFC East. Second, Miami. I think Miami is going to be explosive. They're going to be fun. They're going to win 10 games this year. This defense is a lot more explosive than people think. Fangio is definitely going to help them out. This offensive line, there's a lot of questions to it. They overachieved. I think they're going to underachieve this year. Tua needs to stay healthy. If Tua stays healthy this year with Tyreek Hill and Waddle, even though Waddle right now is not 100% healthy, has ankle problems going into the season, but he always has ankle problems. He's never 100% healthy, but they're going to be able to put numbers. They'll be able to run the ball. This is where I think Mr. Indianapolis Colt will go. Jonathan Taylor, I think, will go there. Be a huge addition to them before the trade deadline. So, give me Miami. I think they win 10 games. They could be a borderline wildcard team. Number two, and I'm not saying this because I'm a Jeff fan, I think Buffalo. I I don't know what I expect with Buffalo this year. I think they lost a lot of weapons in the offseason. Their defense, their offensive line is getting old. They were not good last year. I don't think they're going to be any good this year. What did they do in the offseason to help that offensive line? And then their running game. They added Harris. How good is Damian Harris? I don't know what they think that this running game is going to do. Josh Allen runs the ball any more than he did last year. They're going to have a a lot of problems because if he gets hurt, the season is over. Leslie Frazier is a big loss. A huge loss. A defense guy, probably one of the best defensive coordinators in the NFL. Losing Von Miller for four games is a huge loss off the pup list. You play the Jets in week one on Monday Night Football in New York. You could fall 0-2. I think Buffalo's going to have a lot of problems this year, especially keeping up with Miami and possibly the Jets. And at number one, I would say the Jets. I don't know what the Jets are yet, offensively. So all the Jet fans need to cool off on this Aaron Rodgers thing. I love Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers is fantastic. The question is, are these weapons around him going to put up the numbers that everybody expects. Is Alan Lazard really as good as everybody thinks he's going to be after paying him $14 million in the offseason? Hardman took $7 million. I like Gibson. I think he's a good young player that the Jets have. Brownlee could be a raw player. And Garrett Wilson I think is going to have an explosive year. 14 touchdowns, 1,400 yards for Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers will throw 36, 37 touchdowns this year and put up over 4,000 yards. I think this offense and this defense can hold up. I don't know about the offensive line, the woes that you said, because what I've heard about the offensive line ever since Brown came back and what Makai Becton has done in the last two weeks of training camp says a lot about this team and what this offensive line could be. Give me the Jets. They win 12 games this year, and I think the Jets are the team that's going to come out of the AFC East as the number one seed.